I believe today. But Jesus has come to put us back. In the place where he originally intended us to be. Yes. Yes. Come on here. Yes. Yes. It's not time for church as usual. It's not time. The Bible says that, the, that we shouldn't redeem the time for the days are evil. Yes. The Bible says, Lord, teach us to number our days. There's a mandate from the kingdom of God that we as the people of God must fulfill. Yes. Father God, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We come to you with an open mind and an open heart to receive your word, O oh God. We come to you, O oh God, believing that you are who you say you are. Yes. That you are the King of Kings, that you are the Lord of Lords. Yes. That you have given us dominion yes. to rule and to reign as sons yes. and citizens of the kingdom. God, reveal, open up, honest, with, rebind the enemy yes. today that's come to attempt to steal the word. And we thank you, O oh God, because you're God all by yourself. Yes. And we are your sons. We're no more servants. We're no more slaves. But we're your sons. We are brothers. We're family. We're kings. Yes. And we take our place today in the name of Jesus. I rebuke sickness and disease and confusion and doubt. Yes. I take authority over everything that is not of God. For this place where we stand is holy ground. For the kingdom of heaven is now. It is at hand. It is near. It is here. It is within our power. It is within us. And we take full authority and full charge today in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O God, in Jesus' name. Amen. If you would turn into your Bibles. To the book of Matthew. We're going to go to chapter 4. And I'm reading from the King James. Uh, chapter 6, verse 33. Chapter 6, verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Please repeat after me. But seek ye first. But seek ye first. The kingdom of God, kingdom of God. And, his and His righteousness, and all these things, all these things shall, be shall be added unto you. Amen. You may be seated. Today, I want to take from a topic, and I want to deal with discovering your kingdom purpose. My God. Somebody say, discovering, discovering your kingdom purpose. Kingdom purpose. I've come here today, come to, today. To, learn to learn what my purpose is, what my purpose in, the is. in the kingdom. Give God a hand, praise. We are going to discover the kingdom purpose. We're going to look to see who we are in the eyes of God. Not what you look at when you look at yourself in the mirror. That is not what God sees. When you look at who you are, when you look at your bank account, when you look at your body, that is not what God sees. When you understand why you are on the face of this earth, your whole life will change drastically. When you understand who you are, you will drastically change. Let me talk to you in words that you understand. 
if Ed McMahon came knocking on your door with a check for $5 million, your life has just drastically changed. You start thinking different. Yeah, that's right. You start walking different. <laughs> the way you act with other people will be different because your life has been drastically changed. When you understand who you are in the kingdom of God, and your kingdom purpose, your life will change today. Yes. Somebody say deliverance can happen in an instant. There are some people who refuse to be healed of their body because they will lose that state check. They don't want to be healed because that means that they're going to have to go to work. And get a job. They'll be responsible. But as long as they get Drawing a check, they can blame other people for why they don't have what they need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Come on. Discovering the kingdom purpose, you will move from being a church member to a kingdom citizen. You will move from being a servant to a son. You will move from being dominated to dominating. Yes. You when you understand your kingdom purpose, you will move from unrighteousness to righteousness. Righteousness is not a religious word. Righteousness is a legal term, which means that you are in harmony with your government. When the light turns red, you stop. You are in right standing with the law of this government. That's right. When you go to Target, Macy's, Mervyn's, whatever you go, and you put food and clothes in your basket, and you go to the checkout counter, and you pay with real money the purchases, you are in right standing and have the right to walk out of the store with your purchase. That's right. You try to do that, during Christmas time and whatnot, <laughs> unrighteously, you go to jail. Your rights are taken. You are unrighteous. So to be righteous is a legal term that you are in right standing with your government and you have the right to demand certain privileges. Yes. One of the things that happens to prisoners when they go to prison is that they lose their rights. They're told when to get up, when to go to bed, when to eat, how long to shower, how many bars of soap they get, how many... No rights. Now, when you go to the one who designs you, you'll understand who you are. If you bought a Maytag washing machine, you would not take it to the BMW dealer. Does that make sense? You're going to look on the label of the item that you have to go to the manufacturer because the manufacturer is guaranteeing the item. It has nothing to do with you. Because the manufacturer is going to protect his own name. So the manufacturer who produced the item is going to guarantee that the item will work if you follow the instructions. Mm. Yes. They don't know you. Apple Computer doesn't know you. Mm. Apple Computer doesn't care about you. Apple Computer cares about their profits. Come on. So they're going to produce a quality product that will reflect their name. You are created in the image of God. God is your manufacturer. And as long as you are going by the rules of the manufacturer's handbook, God is going to protect his name. We want to get healed for our sake. It has nothing to do with you. Jesus said, I will that you be in health. And you are prospering, even as your soul prospers. Why? Because it's his name that's being seen through you.
you. We need to understand the kingdom purpose. Why did Jesus come to earth? Well, I'm going to tell you why he didn't come. Jesus did not come to earth to establish a religion. No, he didn't. Jesus did not come to earth to establish a religion. I'm going to say it again. Jesus did not come to earth to establish a religion. Jesus did not join the Sanhedrin Council. Jesus did not join the Pharisees. Jesus did not submit to Caiaphas, the high priest. Jesus was not a Herodian. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that sinners was his best friend. He got most of his opposition from the religious people. So he obviously did not come to establish a religion. Jesus came to give back to you what you lost in the garden, which was dominion, power, and authority. Yes, amen. The kingdom of God is a country. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you how important this is. Look at Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. Wow. Yes. Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. Now, this is when Jesus is beginning his earthly ministry. Jesus is 30 years old. He was born God. Huh? The book of the prophet says, unto us a child was born. Unto us the son is given. The child was born, but the son was given. The the child was born. Okay? Mary had nothing to do with the son. Come on. Okay? And it says, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. Jesus came to earth to establish heaven's government on earth. He was born God. At 12 years old, he knew who he was. Come on, come on. But he submitted to authority until the age of 30. Come on. God submitted to his own word. Because if you were 30 years old, that was the age to be a rabbi. 30 years old was the age to be heard legally. You had the right to be heard at 30 in the temple, in the synagogue. Jesus waited. He stayed at home. Some of us have talents and gifts, but you moved out without having the authority. Yes, come on. And that is exactly where the devil wants to get you. Yes. So at 30 years old, he left home. Mama, I got to go now. Mm-hmm. And he didn't go preaching. He went and found his cousin, John, yes. mm-hmm. because God's authority was given to John at that time on earth. John was in charge. Come on. So Jesus came to fulfill all righteousness, and he submitted to John's authority. Yes. Yes. And then he still didn't go preach. He was God 100%, but he had to go to the wilderness to fast. Yes. Listen, if you have a call on your life, you're going to be tested. Before you get out there, you are going to be tested, and you must pass the test. Yes, come on. Jesus was tested in three ways. Appetite, fame, and power. Appetite. He fasted 40 days. Then the devil came yes. to tempt him yes. with what? Food. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I know you're hungry because the Son of Man got hungry. Yeah. <laughs> the Son of God, meat was to do the will of the Father. The Son of Man was hungry. Yes. He was tempted in appetite. Food, water, and sex. He passed. Mm-hmm. Wow. wow. 
He was tempted with faith. Uh, food. Satan said, turn those stones to bread. Right. He's touching you right where you live. Right. Mm. So you're looking for some big spiritual thing? Satan is messing with you with your appetite. Right Out of control oh, with your food. If you cannot control what you eat, you cannot command demons. My God. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. yeah. about understanding your kingdom, dominion, power. Yeah. So we got it mixed up. See, Christians struggle with eating. Yes. Jesus never said be a Christian. I'm getting ahead of myself. Huh. The, who, who called you a Christian? It wasn't God. Right, right. It's in the Bible, but God didn't call you a Christian. Sure who called you a servant? Right. He called you sons. Yes. Yes. A servant in the house can be removed at any time you be replaced. But family can't be removed like that. Oh, yes. right. Come on. Come on. My God. Come on. Food. Appetite, I look up the definition. Appetite is defined as the desire for food when you're not even hungry. Mm. And that is what the devil, first temptation, what did he bring to Eve? The desire to eat something. Mm. What did Satan attack? He attacked her mind, her intellect, not her spirit. Did not God say, causing you to doubt? Yes. Who you are. Mm -hmm. Faith. He said, jump off the pinnacle. The angel's going to catch you. Right. Satan wanted Jesus to be famous in a day. We're looking for fame real quick. <laughs> we want people to recognize who we are. Recognize who we are. We don't want to go through no, the come tests. On. Come on, come on. Come on. To certify yeah. the gift. All right. mm. There you go. Huh? America is all about power. Power. More money, more power. Power is dangerous. Say, yes, I give you power. Worship me. And the Lord rebuked him with the word. All right. See, he tried to get Jesus to turn stones yes. to bread. But after the garden, he went and turned water to wine. Come on. Right. So, here we see Jesus passing the test. Yeah. And he was filled with the Holy Ghost without measure. Without yes. right. So it brings us to verse 17. Jesus came to establish heaven government. And every organization has a mission statement. And this was Jesus' mission statement. From that time, out of the wilderness, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent! All right. ah, he didn't get deep on some spiritual level. Repent simply means to change your mind. Right. It's simple. Repent. Why? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right. That's a misinterpretation in the King James. It's at hand, but it really interpreted as H-E-R-E. -E. The kingdom of heaven is here. Yes. Yes. See, Christians want to go to heaven. You were not designed to go to heaven. Right. That is not your place. That's, right. That's religion. I'm going to preach. Ha! When I get to the heaven, I'm going to... Mm, walk on the streets of gold. Ah, and I'm gonna. Mm. You don't know who you are. God ain't letting you in the heaven. Come on now. Because you'll be up there with some pickaxes and some hammers breaking up the streets. Because the streets in heaven are paved with gold. You wear pearls around your neck, but that's what the gates are made of. You'll be up here knocking some stuff down. <laughs> But you were not made to be in heaven. If you were supposed to go to heaven, then God, not go to heaven. <laughs> so, he said, the kingdom of heaven. Now, why is this so important? The parable of the sword and the sea, right? And the disciples asked Jesus, what does this mean? Jesus 
said, I'm going to paraphrase to you, I'm talking in parables to keep those from hearing to hear, those from seeing to see. It's a mystery to them. All right now. Because, yes, if they believe it, I'm going to have to heal them. But when the kingdom of God is preached, the wicked one comes. Mm. Let me tell you something. You preach grace, you preach the cross, you preach whatever, the devil says his little demons out. But when you preach the kingdom of God, the devil himself comes to you. And if you don't understand what you're hearing right now, he is going to snatch it away. Mm. Read it. For, go home and read that for yourself. The kingdom of God. You don't talk to any other demon as the wicked one. Right. Am I right? right? And if you don't understand it, he has come to you. See, it wasn't the devil messing with your car. It wasn't the devil and your boss on your job. Because it was probably God using your boss to work out some junkness in you. All right. Come on. Uh, right? Yeah. Pharaoh was God's servant, so was Nebuchadnezzar, to bring his children Israel to a place of deliverance, and then he destroyed them. Right. Mm-hmm. You follow me? Yeah. So if you're going to sleep, I'm talking about the kingdom of God, that's Satan. I say that with all confidence. Yes. If you're thinking about what you're going to eat when you leave here, uh, you're being tempted. Right. You tell the devil to get back. Because you have to understand your purpose. Because when you walk out these doors today, you're going to be another person. Give God your purpose. Uh, amen. I'm serious about this thing. Right. So Jesus preached the kingdom of heaven, and that's all he preached. You don't read him preaching the cross. He didn't preach Calvary. He didn't preach the blood. The blood was a means to an end. Yes. To bring the kingdom of God back to earth. It was the means to the end. Huh. He didn't preach the cross. He didn't preach heaven. He didn't preach you going to heaven when you die. Jesus didn't tell you that. Where we get that from? That's religion. He didn't preach casting out devils. The most important thing we should study, look in uh, uh, Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6. Jesus chastised the people and he asked them, why are you worried about what you're wearing, what you're eating, where you going to live? All right now. Why are you worried about paying your bills? It's the 26th of the month, and some of us are worried about the first. All right. uh -huh. you're, you're thinking about how much money you're not going to have when that check comes. Jesus chastised the disciples because that's what the Gentiles, that's what the heathens do, not the children of God. All right. But what did he say? What did he say? Read it with me. Read it with me. He said, verse 33, but... Seek ye what? First. Talk to me. But seek ye. First. Talk to me. But seek ye. First. That's not it. That's two people. But seek ye. First. That's three people. But seek ye. First. Come, come on. I'm trying to get you free today. Yeah. Talk to me. He said, what did he say? But seek ye. First. First. What? The kingdom. <laughs> seek ye first the kingdom of God. And what? His, his righteousness. Then what will happen? All these things. All these things that the Gentiles are worried about shall be added to you. Yeah. What should be your main drive, purpose, and motivation is to seek what? The kingdom of God. But we don't know what that is. How many of you ever lived in a kingdom? No. Okay. Exactly. Kingdom is not a democracy. If God was wanting to establish a democracy, Jesus said, seek ye first the democracy of heaven. Right. Right. If Jesus, if, if heaven was a republic, Jesus would have said, seek ye first the republic of heaven. Jesus 
says, seek ye first the kingdom. Let me tell you what I think. That the Western Hemisphere is not in prophecy. But you'll get these preachers, these latter-day preachers, trying to interpret Daniel and Ezekiel and in the ten home in the in the ten kingdoms and, and try to put the United States in there somewhere. Guess what? It ain't there. Because in those days, we're going back to what it was in the beginning. Nations been run by kingdoms. Kings conquer territories. That's their main purpose, yeah. is to conquer territories. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Rome ruled all the known world. Rome's about that big. Mm -hmm. But Rome had a king, and that king wanted to rule territories. Egypt had kings, and Egypt ruled the world at one time. Constantine was an emperor, and he ruled kingdoms. Yeah. And he took them over, and he made them like the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Colonized countries. We don't know nothing we don't know about that. Because a democracy is the government for the people, by the people. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like who's in charge, you just elect somebody else. Mm -hmm. But in a kingdom, the king is in charge. You don't have a vote. Right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Christians have to worry about paying their own bills. The people in democracy have to worry about food and shelter. But when you live in a kingdom, the king owns your very life. And the king is responsible for your welfare, protection, food, clothes, health. is the responsibility of the king. And he owns everything. Yes. 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 So, a kingdom... I'm going to give you a definition. I'm going to pretend you have something to write with. I'm going to give you, you something. I'm going to give you a definition. Uh, what is a kingdom? Where's that? Make sure I get it right. Thank you, Jesus. Are you following me so far? Yes. yes. Thank you, Jesus. Let's get that. All right, I get it when I come to it. I must, I must not be able to, must not have to tell you right now. Get it when I come to it. Look at Matthew 24, verse, Matthew chapter 24, verse 1 and 3. Matthew 24. I tell you, when I got this thing, uh, when I got this thing, that I am a son of God, right now. that I am a king, and I rule, and I have dominion, I, I, and something hit me in my chest, and I just broke out and worshiped Pastor Jeremiah. I just worshiped God as I was getting ready to go to church. I just, it just hit me that I am a king. Yes. Yeah. And the king of kings is my daddy. Yes. 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 And I worshiped him <laughs> because he's my dad. Because yes. he gave me power and authority. Yes. See, I don't have to. If you understand that your father is the king and you're a king, you're going to stop smoking. All right. All right. Wow. It's automatically. Okay. Yeah. You're going to stop going to the club because kings don't belong there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Amen. All right. I'm getting ahead of myself. Matthew 24. Are you getting some out of this? Oh, yes. yes. Good. Now, Matthew 24, verses 1. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. And because, and his, and his disciples came to him, and they showed him the building of the temple. The building of the temple. Amen. I like this. Oh, boy. Are you ready for this? Verse 2. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Mm. Now go down to verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, his disciples came to him privately saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? I'm telling you today, I know when the end of the world is coming. All right. I know. Come on. And you should know too. Because you're not a servant, you're a son. That's right. I know, I don't know the hour, but I know when. I'm going to tell you when it's not coming. He said, Take heed that no man deceive you. There are going to be those who claim to be Christ. Yes. There are going to be wars. 
There's going to be famines. There's going to be disasters in the earth. There's going to be all false prophets. You know, every time you turn on the TV, you, you, you go on Facebook, the, the church is being attacked. Right. What did Jesus say about that? And, and preachers are preaching. Yeah. The end of the world is coming. Mm -hmm. Is that what God said? Mm. Read the Bible. What does the Bible say? Verse number six. You should hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come, but the end is not yeah. yet. Don't listen to nobody that's telling you, oh, the world's coming to an end, and hear all these wars and wars. And, and the Bible says what? The end is what? Not yet. And then verse 7, and nations shall rise against nations, kingdoms against kingdoms, and there shall be famines and pestilence on the earth, earthquakes and down earthquakes. Everybody heard you both? Anybody heard of AIDS? Yeah. Hmm? Right? Anybody heard of Saudi war? Anybody heard of Afghanistan? Has anybody heard of those things? Mm -hmm. What did Jesus say about these things? These are the beginning of sorrows. Yeah. So when is the coming of the end be? Number verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then... Check the end. Come. When the gospel of this kingdom, listen, he qualified the gospel. See, gospel just means good news. Yes. We're preaching the good news of grace. Yes. We're preaching the good news of the blood. We're preaching the good news of the cross. We're preaching car, house, husband, wife, money, yeah, yeah. No, that's good news. But Jesus Drink your bottle of water, you got stored up. Huh. Huh. Go on over there and eat the MREs that you got dug in a hole somewhere. <laughs> Go on and eat that food because it ain't coming. Because right. I guarantee you, you haven't heard this like this right. in many places. If you heard it, I don't know where you've been. Yes. But by looking at some of y'all's face, you're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, is he, are you getting it? The devil's mad. Okay. He's not scared of you. Yeah. He's a scared of your notch. Yeah. He's not scared of you. When, Pharaoh, when, 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 when Moses put his rod on the ground and then turned into a snake, Pharaoh did it too. Right. He's scared of your power. Mm -hmm. He's scared of your notch. Right. What did he attack Eve with? Did not God say? He's trying to, he, he tried to tempt her with what she already had. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Did not God say? Let me tell you something. When God created man, he created him humus man. Humus means dirt. Dirt, dirt, dirt. That's what humus means, dirt. Let me tell you something. This might shock you, but you don't have a spirit. Look at your neighbor and go, what are you say? <laughs> it's okay, you can do that. What are you say? You don't have, you don't, you, who said you had a spirit? <laughs> right. You are a spirit. Yeah. You are a spirit in a dirt body. You will live forever. Somewhere. And when Adam was in the garden, the Holy Spirit was there already. And he communed with God. All he had to do was work. We don't want a job. See, he told us, I want to be the king of the work. But everything Adam needed was provided for him. Yeah. But he gave over to the devil, and he gave the deed to earth, to Satan, yeah. a terrorist. Yes. Right. All right. yes. That's God said, have dominion. Hmm. Dominion means to rule, to yeah. govern, yeah. to master, to take charge. Do it yeah. over the birds, the fish. The leaves, the trees. Trees run you today. Right. Yeah. Trees are running the world. Trees, trees. I'm not impressed with your fancy car because you're controlled by a tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't do nothing unless you a tree. That's in control of you. I'm not impressed by your fancy car and your penthouse office on the 35th floor. I'm not impressed with your six-figure income. 
because when 11 o'clock comes, that bottle in the shelf don't say, drink me, and you're going to bow to that bottle. Uh, yeah. The kingdom, you, call, the Bible calls it sin. Sin is simply rebellion. All right, all right. Oh, it's not drinking and smoking and all that stuff that we want to preach about. It's rebellion. All right. And when man rebels, any country that's been run by a king, when there's a coup and an uprising, the governor who represents the kingdom is illegal. All right. God gave man dominion over the earth, and when man did his own thing, the Holy Spirit left. Yes. And we've been killing each other ever since. Yes. All right now. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Psalms 111 or 115 says the heavens and the highest heavens belongs to the Lord, yeah. but the earth belongs to man. You belong. All right. You're not dying going to heaven. He gave you dominion and God says his word shall not come back void, but shall accomplish that in which it set out. Yeah. You want to go to heaven because you're lazy. Uh, you want to sit by the rivers and waters and, and, and eat milk and honey and sing and play harps. That's not your purpose. God does not need a praise team in heaven. God does not need musicians in heaven. They can do that a lot better than we can. Satan rebelled against the king. And he wasn't even a soldier. He was a musician. Yes, he was. He's not a god. He's an unemployed cherub. All right, all right, all right. And the only thing he can throw into her notes. Right. Mm -hmm. The Bible calls him fire regards. Right. He ain't got nothing. God created you eternal, immortal. And he created death. When he created you, he created death. He created Lucifer. All three existed in the beginning. Man was all. He would never die. How did man die? When uh, death, death was dormant. Death has no power. But God's word says, Adam, you take care of the garden. You do exactly what I tell you to do. But as soon as you disobey me, death has the right to kill you. Right. A lion can't hurt you as long as he's locked in the cage. But as soon as that little door drops, you're done. And when Adam sinned, death was immediately activated. So Satan did not kill you. God's sovereignty killed Adam because God has to keep his word. If God doesn't keep his word, he can't be God. He ceases to be God and he puts his word above who he is. That's what? He has to keep his word. <laughs> oh, glory to God, I'm going somewhere. So God said, okay. God, God made it illegal for a spirit to operate on earth legally. Because he gave man Humans, man, dirt, man, dominion. When God gives man dominion, he has dominion. And spirits without a body have no rights. So Satan had to make a deal with the snake. Let me borrow your body. And the snake said, okay. So he got into the snake and went and did his business with Eve and caused them to give up what they had. Oh, God said, okay, that's pretty good. God could have stopped that skinny little woman from eating that fruit if he wanted to. He could have, but he didn't do it. Because he's sovereign. He said, okay, say, good job. You, you did that. You did that. But this is what I'm going to do. That woman that you deceived, I'm going to prepare me a body. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to come back yes. <laughs> legally. And I'm going to deal with you. Yes. So Jesus came yes. in the form of a man. Yes. And then to give us back what he took from us. Yes. 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 Do you know who you are? Come on. Come on. Every nation on earth that has a kingdom have subjects. Subjects. Sub means below. Jet means reject. Sub 
subjects, but the kingdom of God is the only kingdom where its citizens are family. Amen. So you're related to the king and you got the privileges and the power in full force. So you walk on your job, the kingdom of God has just walked in here. That's right. All right. That's right. <laughs> For your glory, Lord. Yeah. Ah. Hey, come on, good God. Come on, good God. Thank you. Somewhere. So God created the earth to put you here. God was not always king. See, a king has to have a kingdom. He was God. Standing on the corner of nowhere looking at nothing. But he said, let there be. So he created his territory. And like a good king, he wants to colonize the territory. So when a king wants to colonize a territory, he never uses its citizens of that territory. He brings his own people. And he puts his own people in that territory to make that territory conform to the will and the purpose to make it look like the ad to have the attitudes and the attributes and the morality and the lifestyle and the language of the king. And they work that territory until they conform it to where they come from. You are not from her. You are sent here, but your home is heaven. But you are sent here. You belong here. The earth is yours. Heaven is God's. And John saw that in Revelation. The kingdom of God came where? Oh to the new earth. Yes. Honey, stop talking about when I get to heaven, Come him on. going, howdy, howdy, never goodbye. That's not your destiny. Come on. Come on. Your job is here and now to take charge and power and authority and dominion over your job, your neighborhood, yeah. your crazy children. He came, the governor. Jesus came to bring the governor. Uh huh. The Holy Ghost. Jesus to yes. the disciples yes. says, The Holy Ghost is right now, it's with you. Yes. Soon it's going to be in you. Yes. Uh, see, did you catch that? Jesus came back to bring when Adam kicked out the garden. It's the Spirit of God. He, there was no record of the Holy Ghost doing nothing while Jesus was on earth. It's all here. He says, it's in front of you. I'm demonstrating to you the kingdom of God, and it's going to be in you. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. My God, mm -hmm. I got this thing. Yes. Right. Change the way you look. Huh. Change the way you Some of you guys now, some of you came in like this, and some of you sitting in your chair like this now. Some of you, in your spirit, you didn't set up. <laughs> All right. Huh, who are you talking to? Talking to me? You like Bruce Lee. <laughs> they just been surrounded by 50 men. <laughs> He's like, is that all you got? <laughs> you must not know who I am. Yeah. I am the master of Kung Fu. Who the hell is killing you? You can't kill me. Yeah. Yeah. And death can only kill you once. Huh. And it isn't no good no more. Yeah. But she's never going to die anyway. Yeah. Oh, somebody give God that break. <laughs> You know what, Pilate? Mm -hmm. uh, you said, they're right, I am a king. 
And if I wanted to, I can call 10,000 angels to come take care of your kingdom. Let me tell you something. One angel wiped out Pharaoh's army. One angel. A legion is 10,000. He said, uh-huh, that's what, that, that's what, that's what Pilate said. <laughs> see, see, he's not talking to Caiaphas now, because he didn't come for no church. He didn't come for no religious practice. He didn't come for that. But I've come to bring the kingdom and give it back to my children. Yes. That's why I'm here. Yes. Oh, come on. And from that time, Pharaoh said, I need to leave him alone. You know what he just said? <laughs> see, see, he talked the language. So you don't got to talk to everybody. Come on. You don't got to say nothing to everybody. He ain't talking your language. What you talking for? Be you. Be who you are. He talk dealing with you. Ah, oh, glory to God. Yes, yes. These are some principles that we need to seek and to study what heaven's like so we can be like heaven. Yes. And he brought the governor. Yes, he did. But he gave up the ghost. He went down to Shell. Yes, he did. And he looked at Satan. What's up? Mm -hmm. Remember me? All right. Remember me? Mm -hmm. Remember me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember me, huh? Give me the keys! All right. Asking you nothing. He took the keys to death, hell, and the grave. There was no conversation. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> As he went out the pits of hell, mm -hmm. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob was following him. Come on, man. And he looked back and he said, Oh, death! Oh, death. <laughs> Where is your big your yes, grave? Your is your stick Satan? Yes. I'll be back. Huh. You thought that was Arnold Schwarzenegger? No, 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 no. <laughs> Jesus, I'm just coming right down to get the keys to get my kids out of here. Because yeah. they don't belong here. Yeah. And to give the governor back the ghost on earth. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm coming back and I'm gonna deal with you, buddy. Right. You're dead number, dude. I'm coming back. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says death, hell, and the grave is going to be cast into the lake of fire. Yes. And we're going to be kings ruling the new earth. Yes. Baby, you're going to start right now. Yes. The reason you can't go to heaven is you don't know how to act. You don't know how to act. Come on. You don't know how to act. You can't go to the governor's mansion. You don't know how to act. Come on. You walk up into heaven, you're going, whoa. See, I like it. I want to talk to Paul, and I want to talk to Peter, and I want to talk to little John the Baptist. Oh, John, how you doing? That white coat, you and George, John, and Gary, and Josh, and John. I'm going to talk to Abraham. No, you're not. You're going to look at those pearls on the gate. You're going, wow. <laughs> One week going pass. <sighs> Six months pass. You're looking at the streets. <sighs> rich people don't watch the show Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Right. They don't. Rich people don't talk about money. Come huh. on. They don't. Poor folks yeah. talk about money. Yes. How much they don't have. Right. And you'll be up in heaven. Wow. 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 No, honey. Learn who you are right now. Yes. Get used to being a son now. Right. Get used to being a king now. Because you're going to walk on the stuff that you owe everybody from the jewelry store spending all your money. Huh. Wow. You're wearing asphalt around your neck because that ain't nothing in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. You need to put some chain link fest and put it in your ears. Because that's what the gate's made of. Pearls. Mm. <laughs> Come on now. Hallelujah. Talk uh, the land. My God, my God. Yes. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Yes. And his righteousness. Yes. I got so much more to go, I can't do it all. Mm. My God. That's it. So preach the good news. Yes. Good news of the kingdom. That's all thing Jesus preached. So when you understand that every kingdom is a the kingdom is a government and every government has taxes, every government has a military, has a commonwealth, it's all part of the kingdom. Do you guys wonder if you're gonna pay your income tax? April 15th, folks are scrambling, weren't they? Mm -hmm. You don't even think about it, do you? Mm -hmm. You expect not to have certain money on your HF, you work 40 hours. Because huh. it's going to the government. Mm -hmm. Do you argue, Mr. Tax Man? Does it go to the government here on earth? Mm -hmm. Is there an argument? Nope. What happens if you cheat the government? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happens if you cheat the government? You're not righteous. Tithes is the kingdom tax. Yes. 
That's right. Jesus never preached tithes. Is that something that you do? Because you're part of the kingdom. That's right. Ooh. Uh -huh. Revelation. Yeah. It's not yours. It never was. And he says, we need to tie into the storehouse that it may be meat in my house. That's infrastructure. Yeah. That's the roads, the lights. If you don't pay taxes, you have potholes. You're being like Somalia out here. Right, yeah. I've been to third world countries, baby. I know what it looks like. Wow. I've been to Bosnia. I've been to Croatia. I've been to Herzegovina. Mm -hmm. I've seen their bottle of water turn yellow in the sun. Ugh, right. I'm not drinking that. Because they don't, infrastructure. You pick up the phone in Africa, you don't expect to get a dial tone. You ever try to call Africa? I have. The phones don't work very good. Folks crowded to internet cafes in Malaysia. The infrastructure is not like it is here because you pay taxes. Yeah. You pay gas tax for the roads. You expect that. Don't you get mad when you get on the freeway in potholes? Yeah. And then you get mad when they're trying to fix them, huh? <laughs> See, you're just you're not getting mad. But your taxes keep that. Don't you like it when it's nice and warm inside? That's the government. That's what government is doing. Yeah. Your taxes are going to that. He said, Give <laughs> yeah, God help taxes too. Right. That just keep you in right standing. Yes. Now, how are you going to profit? It's not even in my notes, but I'm going to share it in close. Uh. How do you profit? You profit after you pay the government your taxes, right? You take the rest and invest. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Do I have to call Bill Gates? No. Huh? Do I have to call, give me somebody, do I have to call the, the CEO of Apple? Do I have to call, they understand investing. They pay taxes and then they take their profits and then invest to get more. Right. Yeah. Poor people are broke. Christians are some broke folks because they, they don't understand where they are in the kingdom. Right. Rich people hoard money. Wealthy people flows. It flows. Right. Okay, there's one thing I gotta share with you. Okay, can you can I have a few more minutes, please? Go ahead. Go right. I got I got I'm gonna skip to the end. I'm gonna skip to the end. Skip to the end. Skip to the end. Discovering your kingdom purpose. How many of you got your game? How many of you got your game? Yes. Let me finish what I'm saying about those taxes. See, when you pay taxes to the kingdom of God, it keeps you in right standing as a citizen yes. mm -hmm. and as an obedient child. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, when you pay your taxes to the kingdom, it opens the window. Ain't nothing coming out, though. It just opens it. The window of opportunity. Now here comes your offering. Your offering is your investment. And how you invest in the offering is what comes out the window. Yeah. Press it down. Shake, shake, shake it. Shake uh, it. over. See, not, not just your tithes. See, your tithes keep you in right standing. But if you want to go beyond, see, see, the tithe keeps the lights on, yeah. Pastor Jeremiah. That's right. The tithes keep the lights on. But if you want to build in the church, you've got to put in an offering. Because the offering is by the church. Offering is by buses. Offering by equipment. Offering. That's right. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Wise investors in the kingdom brings back blessings to you. Yes. That's not a religious thing. Mm -hmm. That's because you are a king. Yes. And that's your lifestyle. Yes. Yes. Do you wake up in the morning and say, today I'll be black? <laughs> no. It's the way you are. Mm -hmm. It's your lifestyle. I think today I'll be a woman today. No, you're a woman because that's what you are. It's your lifestyle. Jesus. Okay, I have to say that. Now, turn to Luke 22. We're going to get in here. Luke chapter 22. I'm going to give you a very important word. Okay? I'm going to give you a very important word. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Now, I'm sorry if, if some of you go to other churches and your pastor is teaching on Zacchaeus in the tree and how tall he was and how big the tree was and, you know, uh, Jesus walked on the water. Oh, the wind's gonna blow, but hold on. Mm -hmm. It's a little while longer. Mm. The woman, let's see, I did that. <laughs> I'm talking about myself. Uh, the woman with the issue of blood, she pressed her way. She was determined to see Jesus. Is that what he said, Rich? Mm -hmm. Hey, is that Rich? Preach the kingdom. Preach the kingdom. The kingdom is here, it's now, and you are a son and daughter of the king. That's right. Oh, Lord. 
Mm. All right. Now, Luke chapter 22. Okay, we're going to end with this. And we're going to thank God for making us sons and daughters. All right. Luke chapter 22, verse 29. You need to highlight this. You need to meditate on this. You need to fast for 30 days. Wow. And, 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 and until this gets in you. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. And it says, And I appoint unto you a kingdom, as my Father hath appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. What did he come to give you? Kingdom. I appoint. Now, this is a very important word. Everybody say confer. Confer. I confer. Now, if you had a choice to be a governor, a, a state's legislator, or an ambassador, which one would you choose? Let me help you out. A congressman represents a district of a few people. It doesn't represent the government. Representatives represent a section of people in a territory, right? They don't, the, 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 the senator of Ohio has no jurisdiction in California. He has his constituents, right? But an ambassador, a point conferred is only used for ambassadors because the full weight of the government is put on the ambassador. He represents the nation. Yeah. Mm. Confer. Jesus said, I confer on you a kingdom. This is what this is what God did to Jesus. I am sorry for the sound, but what I'm trying to say is God conferred unto Jesus the kingdom. And Jesus came to bring the governor, the Holy Spirit, back to this colony. And he conferred the kingdom power to us. He went to the cross to shed his blood to clean the governor's mansion. He breathed on his disciples on the day of Pentecost. He told them to receive the Holy Ghost, just like Jesus breathed on Adam in the garden and gave him dominion, power, rule, manage, and authority. He now gives us the same power and authority, and he has cleaned our bodies with his blood so that the Holy Spirit can now rest, rule, and abide in us, and we can carry out God's culture, will, his purpose, his intent right here on earth today. So from this day, we should strive to throw off what we see as things we do as a religious practice because religion is just a set of rules trying to find God. God has came to us and revealed himself to us. So as good citizens of the kingdom of God, we should view going to church as this is what we do in this culture. This is what I do as a citizen. We should seek God, his righteousness, and his holiness in the kingdom of God, and not chase after money, worry about our bills. Because if we seek God first, the way he has commanded us to, all the things as a son of God that we need will be added to us. A governor who represents a nation gets all of his bills paid by the nation he represents. And only thing he speaks is what the nation he represents wants him to speak. And he is well taken care of providing service to the kingdom. And we as kingdom citizens provide service to our King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And we today take dominion, power, and authority over every situation in our life. May it be sickness, may it be a material, as we delve into the word of God, as we seek to fast and to pray and to seek God's will in our life, not our own, we then can usher back the return of Christ. God bless you. To wash your nasty temple, Every governor has to have a mansion. And the governor is the Holy Ghost. Yes. And he's come to live in your mansion. Yes. In you. 
Yeah. Cleaning you up so that you can do the work of your father. Yeah. And he pays your bills. I'm going to tell a story. God used you. Because I said my bank account would never be overdrawn again. Wow. Or I refuse. So when the temptation comes to buy something, even though my debit card would let me purchase it, or I ask a trick of the devil. Yes, you better trust God. Mm -hmm. asking, you need, this is a house burned down in emergency. You better go to God because you're the best. God, you've been built. Yeah. I ain't going to work. I'm not even going to pray about it. Yeah. I expect. That's right. I'm on your payroll. That's right. Hallelujah. When I went to church, the, the, the gas light came on. Beep. I almost got sunburned on the side of the face. Of the <laughs> E doesn't mean everlasting. <laughs> e means go find a gas station. I have to go to church. I'm a son. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that. We went to church. I picked up a brother. That was more distance. And then uh, Pastor Jay asked me to take him home. I said, sure. I didn't think about it. I don't care. I know I need a gas. That's not my problem. Right. It is it. But not my problem. I'm going. I'm going. I'm taking him home. Yeah. See, God used him. Men should give unto your bosom. Men. Come on here. He said, Pastor Reggie, you need some gas? Mm. Oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> and he filled the whole tank up. Come on, give God a hand for it. That's not the first time he did that. All right. My vehicle was literally running out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> that car, when it gets low, it's, it's done. And make a right turn, it'll stall out on the turn. <laughs> and I had to get somewhere. Okay. And I was believing. And guess who pulled up behind me out of nowhere? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Over to the gas station. God gonna bless you. All right. In the name of Jesus. I shall pour it out. I shall pour it out. Oh, thank you, Lord. Ah, yeah. ah, and I confer to you the kingdom yes. with all rights and privileges. Yes. As a son, and I'm not giving you what's not already given. I'm just affirming in front of folks that are looking yes. that your bills are paid without yes. you even asking. Yes. That your son will grow up and be in health. That your wife has all sufficiency. That this ministry has more in abundance to give and to share. Press down, shake it together, and run it over and confer right now. Yes. And all by Shakur Yes. Lord. No demon in hell mm. is allowed yeah. in this territory mm. because this ground where you stand mm. is holy. Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. it's done. Jesus. Come on, give God a hand. Amen. Come on, give God a hand. Amen. Amen. Church, I'll come and get under you. Uh, under you. Because you, you're right, right there. Uh, right there. Yeah. Yeah. God did something to you. You said to yourself, oh, man, I'm going to dig into this kingdom thing. Yes. Uh, and he's going to reveal to you the mysteries of the kingdom because it is his will that you, the mysteries be revealed because he said, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, a mystery to everybody else, but not to you. Right. It is for you to know the secrets. Yeah, yes. all right. Isn't that all right? Tell me the secret. I want to know the secret. Yeah, my daddy yeah. told me what the secret was. Right. Yes. 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 There's principles and there's guidelines, but we're not going to do it today. Thank you. I want you, if anyone can stand, I want you to go ahead and just worship the governor has come back to yeah. live in the mansion. Yeah. Yes. The governor has bought the culture of God. He has bought the lifestyle of God. He has bought the dominion of God. Yes. He's bought back the language. The yeah. governor is the only one that talks to God. Ah, not the people. The God, he's giving you the language. You thought the Holy Ghost was some spiritual thing, baby. It's your communication with God. Yeah. And the governor has come home to reconnect you with the king. Come on and worship. Worship your father. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. 